Good morning. It's Thursday, September 21st, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Bitter Water, and our scripture is Exodus chapter 15. Then Moses led the people of Israel away from the Red Sea, and they moved out into the desert of Shur. They traveled in this desert for three days without finding any water. When they came to the oasis of Mara, the water was too bitter to drink, so they called the place Mara, which means bitter. Then the people complained and turned against Moses. What are we going to drink? they demanded. So Moses cried out to the Lord for help, and the Lord showed him a piece of wood. Moses threw it into the water, and this made the water good to drink. It was there at Mara that the Lord set before them the following decree as a standard to test their faithfulness to him. He said, If you will listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, obeying his commands, and keeping all his decrees, then I will not make you suffer any of the diseases I sent on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. The children of Israel had water issues. When they were running away from Egypt, they were stuck with too much water. It was the Red Sea right in front of them, preventing them from getting to the Promised Land. The Egyptian stormtroopers were hot on their heels, and God parted the waters so they could walk through on dust instead of swimming and mostly drowning. Three days later, they had the opposite issue, no water. And they complained, and Moses led them to Mara, where the water was unhealthy, bitter. God fixed that by purifying the water. Further on in the journey, they were dry once again, and God brought forth water from a rock. I had my own issues with a water valve this week. The plumber came right away and did another miracle. He fixed it, and he charged me less than the cost of a Buick. Normally, I write in the early morning hours. Yesterday was an exception. I started the day by getting my dog settled with his business, doing his business, and carrying him to that spot he occupies right next to my desk. I began to write when dawn was just breaking. Elizabeth opened the study door, and the pitiful sight of my bride in pain was worse than Israel's drought on the run. We immediately got in the car and went to the emergency room. Around three o'clock, we found out she had pancreatitis, along with a secondary infection. An hour later, she was admitted and settled into a room. It's now 8.22 p.m. I've just had supper, and now I'm beginning to write, and it's been a day. So, what does all that have to do with Mara's bitter water? Well, I'm glad you asked. Today's events were much like Israel's Mara experience. When they were back in Egypt as slaves, they could at least count on having water to drink from the beautiful river Nile. Out in the desert, life became uncertain, uncontrollable. Today reminded me of that. My sweet bride, usually smiley and always on the lookout for our family, now helplessly rubbing her side and not wanting to do anything but be left alone. And Russell... Helpless, unable to do anything like Superman, leaping tall buildings, stopping speeding bullets, I had no way to take away her hurt. All I could do was just sit by the bitter water of pain. I'm not sure how many people prayed for us today. I do know my phone looked like an exhausted little puppy when the battery died. Tons of people responded to our Facebook post, and the word spread. When I left Elizabeth's room at 6.30 this evening, she was smiling and looking forward to coming home tomorrow. The doc had said, we'll see about tomorrow, but I know that look in the woman's eye. So, time to wrap it up and get some sleep. My day was planned to write. Pain had other ideas, and like too much water at the Red Sea, too little water in the desert, and bitter water at Mara, I got frazzled and saw my weakness, but God had the answer even before I asked. For you today, whatever you've got going on today, remember where the well is located. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.